Now get out of here. A hundred bucks? Yeah, it said three thousand. Well, check it again, webhead. For that, I give you a hundred, and you're lucky to get that. I need that money. I missed the part where that's my problem. Yo, over the course of the past, what, six, seven, or eight months, I've made plenty of videos talking about how I think that the judges should be paid, and there was never really too big of uh, the athletes need to be paid, and I suppose the biggest time in which the athletes had to get paid was when they changed the semifinals, all standardized, and everybody won the same amounts of money, and I want to say it was something like 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 for first, second, and third across all of the semifinals. That was the biggest negative, in my opinion, to the CrossFit semifinals becoming standardized in years past where there were, what, 20 25 or 30 separate semifinals, all of which were qualifications for the CrossFit Games. They were run on their own accord, and they could pay the athletes whatever the hell they wanted to. So if you went to Wadapalooza and qualified for the CrossFit Games, you ended up winning $50,000, and you qualified for the CrossFit Games, and you got to go and compete in Miami. If you wanted to go to the CrossFit Cape Town and qualify for the CrossFit Games, you may have had an easier time to get there, less competition. The payout was also less. And during this time, you never heard anything about the athletes potentially not getting paid out. Fast forward to the year 2022, everything's supposed to be way better, right? Why would you ever expect a sport to move backwards while still having the likelihood to get better and better and better? And Jason CF Media the other day puts out a video about the European Championship, I believe is the name of the event. And first of all, Jason is an awesome, awesome media man. He just sits there and he throws out either straight facts or he lets you know that they're straight opinions. My entire shtick is I say whatever the fuck whenever I want to say it. And today I'm going to let you know that the same thing is happening at the Canada West Games. The Canada West Games. Games. I recently made a video on the Canada West Games, and I was talking about how it appeared as if they may have bought the higher leveled package of the HWPO programming. There were three events that were programmed by HWPO, and it very much appeared as if there was more or less effort put into these events. Potentially the issue being there, maybe there were different borders boundaries, more people competing would, would have led to a more structured program put out by whomever at HWPO was writing them, but my speculation was that you pay more money, you get more of Fraser's time, you get better workouts and it very much looked like that at the Canada West Games. Now if that did indeed happen, that being they paid, hard work pays off more money so that one they could stamp the HWPO on their website which also looked like it cost a lot of money. I don't know how much it cost to build out a website. Remember former affiliate owner. And if you want to do a good job, those things aren't cheap. If you want them to be kept up well, it's not cheap. And then you look at the venue. Venue was nothing to scoff at and that's not cheap. And the biggest thing out of all of this that I thought was very interesting is that it appears as if their Instagram page was brought down. You click on the link on the website, which should bring you to their Instagram page, and it's got one follower, and then you go on to other people who tagged Canada West Games who had competed there, and it brings you to the same exact page, which has one follower. And unfortunately, because of this, I was unable to find the exact prize purse, but I have spoken to a handful of individuals, and from what I can tell, they've all told me that they were going to pay out through 10. So first through 10th place was going to make money. And in the world of professionalizing the sport, that's all well and good. You're going to go do an off-season competition, you're going to finish in the top 10 and make some money. You Usually if you take 10th, then you're maybe going to wash. It pays for your food. It pays for your travel. It pays for your lodging. You win, worked out. Maybe you've got a little bit of marketing in there because you competed against some of the biggest names in the sport at this event, and you're happy to get your money back having finished 10th. Anything under that, it's like, well, you might as well be a PGA Tour golfer. You're living in poverty your entire life. Trying to make it to the pinnacle, you want to go win the Masters and make a bunch of money? Get better at the sport. I understand this game. I'm not trying to say that you do CrossFit, you should be a fucking loaded. If you're really good at CrossFit, you should be able to make some good money. And good money, from what I've heard, was about $15,000 for the people who had won, and $8,000 for second place, and three to $5,000 for third place. That's on the male side and on the female side. And the reason I'm bringing all of this up is because just like what Jason CF Media was talking about over at the European CrossFit Championship, it doesn't appear as if anybody has been paid out. But what it does look like is that the winner of these events, $10,000 plus, second place, five to $10,000, and third place is going to get somewhere around $5,000. And the parallel between the European Championship at the Canada West Games is that nobody has gotten any money yet. And the thing that I can tell you more about the Canada West Games is that the competition was on July 15th, 2022. August 30th was the first time in which the athletes had gotten any sort of information about a payment schedule. Now, I've never made any sort of significant amount of money at these competitions, but I suppose it's something that happens, which is that they're not just going to throw you a giant chunk of money. Perhaps some of them do. Maybe the CrossFit Games, when you win, you win $310,000. They just give you a check and then you pay your taxes. Whenever you need to pay 
your taxes because you got to on that crap. But from what this email said on August 30th, which is more than a month later, 45 days after they had competed in and completed the competition, they get an email telling them that they're going to get one fourth of their money a month later on September 30th, another one fourth of their money another month after being October 30th. And then on November 30th, they would get the end and final half. So they're going a quarter, a quarter and a half. And then that would be the end of it. September 30th came and went and none of them had received any of that initial one quarter, 25% of their money. And then on October 1st, the Canada West game says to the athletes, and I quote, Can Fit Productions is not going to be able to fulfill the Canada West game's prize per schedule I had communicated on August 30th. Blank, blank, and I appreciate that this is disappointing and frustrating information for you to receive. It was not our intention to mislead, and it is still our intention to fully honor the prize purse payout as soon as possible. In light of this, we feel we owe you a bit more information. Canada West Games operate a substantial loss this year. We budgeted for the event to break even, not even paying ourselves, based on what we thought were conservative revenue targets and appropriate expense levels. Actual revenue levels were well below expectations, and we incurred some unexpected last-minute expenses that magnified the loss. Most of the larger event expense items, cost of the venue, infrastructure, prize, purse, etc., are established and committed to months before the event occurs, and I have limited room for adjustment, even if it becomes clear that the revenue will not meet expectations. I love Costco. I'm going to go to Costco, and I'm going to go buy salmon. And if I want to buy a thing of salmon, it's like 30 bucks, and I expect it. I go in there, I spend spend my $30 on the salmon. I go home and I eat my salmon because I was freaking hungry. If you're an athlete and you're going to compete at the Canada West Games, you're going to go and win. It's like, okay, I'm going to go win the Canada West Games and I'm going to get $15,000 because I need that money. I need that money. Because I'm a competitive high level athlete and it's how I make my livelihood. I need it to pay for my rent. I need it to pay for my car. I need it to pay for my health insurance, what you might name it. And from what it sounds like to me, the Canada West Games, the European Championship parallel almost way too eerily to a handful of affiliates that I I've heard, which is that the we don't even pay ourselves. We're just trying to keep the doors open. We wanted to do what was right. We wanted to pay the athletes. But let me tell you, if you would have gone to Costco maybe six to eight months ago, that salmon that was 30 bucks, it would have been $18. And they do that because they still know that you're going to buy the salmon and because it's what they need to charge you for it in order to keep their lights on. CrossFit affiliates everywhere overpromise. And, and then what ends up happening is when they overpromise and they undercharge their clients is they end up working for pennies. And when I read that email, I hear event organizers who overpromised and they're working for pennies or for nothing. And then it's this whole circle of you're expecting people to feel bad for you because you promised this thing that you shouldn't have been promising while you were doing it in the kindness of your heart. I missed the part when that's my problem. Just like if you're an affiliate owner and you're like, I'm only going to charge a hundred dollars a month for my clients because I want them to be getting the best thing ever for the cheapest amount of money. Fast forward five years, you're burnt out because you can't afford to pay your coaches and you've been working all the hours and you don't pay yourself. You make $20,000 a year. You'd be making more money working at McDonald's relatively. And it just sounds like a business which is mismanaged and it's going to be ugly. You know, money is a fake thing, right? We all just agreed upon money. So if you win the Canada West games, who won that? Uh, Chandler Smith and Annika Greer won the Canada West games and they're expecting $15,000. They're expecting that money because they went there. They gave you their time. They put out their effort and they're expecting to get paid for all of that stuff for putting on some sort of a performance for your event. I'm watching this over and are you kidding me? Like what other sport has this issue? I've never heard of this before. You go somewhere, you're promised something, you end up getting into the position in which you should be receiving a good amount of money and then you just don't get the money. You could have taken that guy apart. I missed the part where that's my problem. Imagine being a freaking clown going to work a job. It's like I'm $200 for a day's worth of work at a kid's birthday party and then you go and you work the kid's birthday party and the parents are like, you know what? fuck right off. You promised them money for all of that stuff. You could argue very well that it would have been better served for them done absolutely nothing at all. Their time was not fucking worth it if you're not going to pay them for their time, their effort, their presence. They've got big names. That's why you want them there. And you want to pay them big numbers, but you also need to charge the right amount of money for your freaking salmon. Keep the lights on. And as Billy Madison said, the puppy who lost his way. Whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. Part of the story I don't like is that the little boy gave up looking for happy after an hour. You've got a responsibility. That little boy's got to think you got a pet. You got a responsibility. You go out and you find that fucking dog. You get your ass out there and you find that fucking dog. And if you don't want to have that responsibility, you don't say anything in the first place. So wrap all this stuff up, Jason CF Media, European Championship coverage. I feel like it was a lot less opinionated, a lot more factual. He was presenting stuff. There's a whole bunch of the 
opinions on my end. Write your own workouts, and I don't have any confirmation about that. Maybe they got hard work pays off to write the workouts for free. I don't know shit about fuck. I don't know shit about fuck. If I had to guess, they had to pay hard work pays off to write the programming, to put that sticker on their events. They had to pay for the venue. They had to pay for whatever the hell, and they were then not able to pay for their athletes, which in my opinion, just like the judges, are what makes the world go round in the sport of fitness. Go watch a golf event. There's no event if the grounds crew doesn't keep the greens perfect or the fairways perfect. There's no event if there's no Tiger Woods in 2005. They made all of their money because everyone wanted to go watch Tiger Woods or Rory McIlroy or Bryson DeChambeau this year. Idiot. That's all I got. Andrew Hiller out. (laughs) 